Okay, so we're on a rescue here. We're trying to get this thing. Sorry about the poor light. Hopefully I can, I can get a little better light in here. This is uh, an old Interdata mini computer, probably a 732 or an 832. It's badged for Triad. Like I said, sorry about the light here, but there we go. Pretty big system. Tape drives, some discs. This is an old auto parts warehouse. Let's go to the back. Whoa, almost knocking over the light. We can see here, typical interdata construction. But yeah, we have to get these racks apart. And uh, I've started marking cables, disconnecting, so we can get everything back together. I'm doing uh, this rescue with a friend. I actually am not, not taking this system. My friend is, but I figured I'd help him out because there's a lot of work here. You can see there's stuff everywhere. It's gotta go, we gotta go through this and make sure we find what we need to find. Luckily, we did find the OS32 tapes, nine tracks for, for this guy here. This is an uh, old CDC drive, CPI. A couple of, three actually, Fujitsu's, eight inch. Uh, hard disks and like I said the interdata It's actually a blinky light panel or really a blinky hex number panel keypad Can I get this in the light even better? I don't know. Unfortunately the lights in this place are real spotty Maybe I can enhance it. We'll see in any case. Yeah, we've got pieces parts all over. Yeah, sorry to blind you there. But yeah, we're accumulating the interesting stuff. You can see there's some tapes down there. Gables. Gables. Nifty vending machine. But yeah, these are the other drives. They're uh, old CDCs. And we have to figure out which of these are worth taking. I think there are six or seven drives. Here are four of them. And uh, some of them are pretty bad. Uh, we're going to have to triage them, park the heads. If they aren't auto park, I'd yeah, probably have to open these things up and find out how to park the heads because you really want to uh, park the heads, lock them in place so they don't bounce around uh, during transport. These will be going on an enclosed trailer and many, many, many hundreds, uh, maybe a little over a thousand miles, I think these have to go. So we have to work on that. So I think that's gonna be the next step is uh, triaging the drives. Printers. More printers. More stuff. Cool terminals. Weirdo terminals with a very odd screen. Also these cool Burroughs uh, plasma display terminals. Quite a few of those. But yeah, we have to go through this and find out, oh, keyboards. We have to find out what's worth taking uh, because we can only take so much stuff. We can take a lot of stuff, but not all the stuff. So we have to triage it. We'll be here for a couple days. But yeah, this is what's involved. A lot of digging and digging in the dirt. This place has apparently been defunct since the late 90s, we think, or maybe 2005. I think I heard that date. 2005, I guess, is when this, this, was, this building was last occupied and it hasn't been cared for. Uh, the building itself is pretty solid, but obviously the contents, the, the previous owner did not care about the contents, and the current owner, I gotta say, I, hats off to him, because he he, he knew to uh, to contact someone and, and try and get this stuff saved. Need more guys like that in this world. So, all right, this is gonna be a full day. It's still in the, it's still in the morning, about mid-morning, I guess, by now. We've been here an hour or two, probably two hours. We're doing the triage. For the breakdown the weather is garbage outside so i think we're going to do the, the load up tomorrow and hopefully be on the road tomorrow evening there's a lot of work here so i better get back to it okay just documenting a rescue